Hey, what's up everyone? This is K Collections, and in this overview, the Banana Oni herself will have a raid up along with Mama Raiko. If you haven't checked out my breakdown on Raiko yet, feel free to do so. So, after bullying Ibaraki so much during the last events, you're probably wondering if she's worth summoning for or not. Hopefully, I can answer that. Here are her stats. When compared to the other 4-star Berserkers, her attack is lower than Beowulf's, but a bit higher than Fran's. And her HP is the second highest, lower than Tamamo Cat. One thing you'll notice is that her MP gain is quite high. Ibaraki has a triple buster deck with a buster MP, very solid as a damage dealer. Her hit counts are a bit low except for her quick and extra. If you want to gain MP, then perform an Arts Buster Quick Brave Chain for best results. Starting with Arts will boost the MP gain for the quick and extra attacks, which like I said before, has the most amount of hits. Or if you know you'll overkill, then a Buster Quick Arts would be good, especially if you crit damage with the Arts. Now for her active skills, I'd say concentrate on leveling her first one. It offers a offensive support for your team, and the good news is that since it's for 3 turns, you can use this to buff your team's attack, even when her NP isn't ready. Obviously, make sure to use her NP attack within the 3 turns to fully leverage the skill. Her next two skills offer more of a survivability element, especially her third skill. Depending on the circumstances, normally you want to activate that skill as soon as you can, it wouldn't make much sense to save it unless you have some sort of strategy that involves waiting. Also, all her skills have a relatively low cooldown, 5 turns when maxed out which makes it great because she can use these skills more often. She does have the typical madness enhancement due to her class. This is great as she has 4 busters in total. If you remember, her NP was quite annoying. It's a single target that will remove buffs, which is great to kill enemies with guts, but not evasion. However, it will remove the buff so damage can be done afterwards, which is great. It also decreases defense. Typically, you want to use this NP first when chaining Noble Phantasms. So, should you summon Ibaraki? Yes, I definitely would recommend her if you are in need of a versatile buster-focused berserker with both offensive and defensive capabilities, look no further. She's very, very straightforward as a servant, but a balanced one. Ibaraki offers slight support, being able to boost your team's attack, while efficient in damage dealing herself. Due to her healing and defense boosting skills, her survivability goes up, especially when the skills are level 10, which means the cooldowns are low. Her NP is the main selling point. Being able to remove buffs are so vital during boss battles. Some weaknesses? Clearly her class is a factor. One of the biggest issues is that she doesn't have any guts or evasion skills. Yes, she does have healing and defense skills, but there are limitations to them, especially against powerful NP attacks. Team Compositions! Lee Nidus is amazing. His taunts can protect Ibaraki when her defense skill is on cooldown, and he can boost her buster performance. Having 4 busters in total, Ibaraki will benefit a lot offensively. Anderson is another great choice, the chance to buff her attacks, but most importantly her defense means she's harder to kill. He also provides constant healing, which again means she's harder to kill. There may be conflicting deck compositions since they're basically opposites, but that's not an issue. CE recommendations, limited zero over is an obvious choice. Leading Caldea is actually a limited CE. This is like a combination of zero over and 2030. It's good if you have crit focused servants as this will provide some stars for them, but will also boost Ibaraki's attack as well. I forgot to mention this, but this CE will work with Raikou perfectly. Halloween Princess, another limited CE, is great if you want to focus on NP or use Kaleidoscope, that can work too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more FGO content. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. A different question this time. How was your experience facing Ibaraki on the 3BP quest last event? For me, it was quite challenging at first, but once I knew the patterns, it became a bit easier each time. As always, have an awesome day everyone, till next time.